Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for St. John's Lutheran Church of McGuanagall for Tuesday, March 22nd. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Hasten to save me, O God, O Lord, come quickly to help me. Behold the Lamb of God, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. The deep places of the earth are in his hand. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down, let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. This week's devotions um, come from the section on the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew chapter 6. Do not worry, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things shall be given to you as well. <clears throat> and we think about all the things that would happen in our life to cause one um, to worry. As <clears throat> I thought about yesterday's devotion and Matthew chapter 6, then the first reading from this past Sunday came back to me, and Moses' situation there as he was tending Jethro's sheep there um, in Midian and at the base of Horeb, and the things that would have been running through his mind and the situation that he had put himself in and still ever wondering and worrying. And when the Lord comes to him in the burning bush, the angel of the Lord um, I said in the sermon, the pre-incarnate Christ, recognizing there are different times in the Old Testament where the second person of the Holy Trinity makes an appearance, this before his incarnation, this before his birth in Bethlehem. And there's just many reasons to see that in Genesis or Exodus chapter 3. But when the Lord is speaking to Moses from the bush, it's quite an interesting thing when he says to Moses, I have surely seen. Um, in English, we don't have a good way to translate what the what the uh, text says there, but it's a uh, literally in my seeing I have seen. It's an emphatic uh, play on words that the Lord is certainly aware of Moses and his situation, is certainly aware of the situation of the children of Israel as they are still under Pharaoh's control in Egypt. And so the Lord promises Moses, I am going to, in my surely seeing, in my seeing I have seen, I am going to do a work of deliverance. And so you see this theme throughout Scripture when the Lord brings hope out of seemingly no hope and when the Lord brings deliverance out of captivity and when he brings life out of death. And, and all of this ties into Matthew chapter 6. Why do you worry? One of the blessings of reading through the Old Testament is to see time and again how many times the Lord went into action to deliver his people, to keep his promise, to keep the promise of a Savior intact. One of the blessings of reading through the New Testament is to see how God deals with real people in real situations which cause all sorts of worry how are we going to feed all these people with a boy's lunch? Lord, don't you care if we drown as the storm comes up as they're in the boat? And as the Lord deals with the sick and the oppressed and the demon-possessed, when the Lord deals with those who are troubled physically and spiritually, time and again how God deals with humanity is a promise that in seeing he has seen and that he has a deliverance in mind. And you put those pages of scripture together and you think about Paul's promises to us. Paul's promises that nothing in all creation will separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. 
And my good word for you this day is, In seeing he has seen, and he has delivered. As he did then, so, so he does it now. So he has put an act of deliverance in place through the gift of his Son for you. So he brings that deliverance into your time, into your hearing, to deliver you. There is so much comfort for you, friends, in a Lord who in seeing has seen in a Lord who promises to deliver. This is the Lord we call to again this morning. This is the Lord who we open up our lips and our mouth declares his praise. This is the Lord who we say, make haste to deliver us, make haste to help us, O Lord. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. And so he does. In the name of Jesus, for you. Amen. In the morning, O oh Lord, I call to you. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and... Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose glory it is always to have mercy, be gracious to all who have gone astray from your ways. And bring them again with penitent hearts and steadfast faith embrace and hold fast the unchangeable truth of your word through your son jesus christ our lord who lives and reigns with you in the holy spirit one god now and forever amen O lord our heavenly father almighty and everlasting god you brought us safely to this new day defend us with your mighty power and grant that this day we neither fall into sin nor run into any kind of danger and in all we do direct us to what is right in your sight through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.